All right, so we got a Coleman. Coleman Presidential here. Um, DGA A07 BDTA. Let's see what's going on. Or motors running. I didn't hear the pressure switch close. Let's see what this light's saying up here. Three flashes. Combustion air switch failed to close. So the pressure switch is probably bad. Some other guy was here telling this dude that needed a new motor, but I think it's his pressure switch. So let's uh, replace the pressure switch and see what happens. Got the pressure switch. Got it right here. Let's take the uh, the old one out. Take that 516 screw out because that was the original location. Pressure switch in. Alright. So we gotta get these leads off, get them under there. Let's see. Should say, oh yeah, here we go. So this one's normally open, normally closed up top, and the bottom one's common. So let's take common off. And over here, uh, common is on top the C and then it says normally open on the bottom so we'll put that in there now let's get this one off stick it on there and um, the vacuum tubes off this one should go 
here. sure these toes are kinked at all. switch in let's see if it works all right got the new switch in let's uh, test it out oh yeah you heard the switch close that time so we shouldn't it should be steady now it's probably gonna click for the igniter if we get the igniter glowing then we know it's definitely working Heard a board click, and uh, we should get an igniter glowing back there now. Yep, there it is. Let's wait for it to ignite. Oh yeah, that's working, sir. Yeah, it was just that switch. Um, I don't know why the other guy was saying it was a motor, but uh, the motor's fine. It was just the uh, that pressure switch I showed you. So I'm just gonna wait for the um, the blower to come on. Nah, he probably doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I work on these types of furnaces all the time. Yeah, I got a lot of experience. So, you know, some guys, yeah, so, some guys will hardly work on these and, you know, they don't know how to fix them, but. So we're just waiting on your blower motor to come on. And um, once that comes on, then it should be okay. The, the burner's on right now. So it's it, the, the heat's on, just we're waiting for the fan to come on now. Oh yeah, we're, we're in here a lot. There it is. Yeah, it's working now. All right, there we go. All right, well, we just got done with that call. Uh, just an easy, simple, you know, pressure switch uh, replacement. Uh, pressure switch wasn't pulling in because it most likely the little diaphragm inside that switch wasn't working. It was either probably, you know, stuck. Um, guy had some other company out there a couple days before I was, and they were telling him, you know, he had a bad motor, and the guy was gonna, you know, look for the parts and stuff like that. Gave him a crazy quote too. It's just like, you know. You know, if you look at the diagnostic code, you know, it, it was telling you, you know, the pressure switch, you know, fell to close. So it's like, you know, the board knows what's going on. And, you know, some guys are just, they just either don't have knowledge about these things or what, or, you know, they're just, they just don't know how to, you know, do good work. But, um, you know, we got the switch replaced, got them heat, 
everything's working, thing was working good. Uh, tested it for carbon monoxide, nothing was coming out. The thing's working fine, it's about, about 14 years old or so. So uh, got that old man heat, uh, saved him some money. Uh, just, you know, replaced the switch and uh, yeah, we're on to the next one.